I've been out in Death Valley for the last five days, six days. Finally, a good cup of coffee or a decent cup of coffee. I've been, I had instant coffee. It tastes like uh, dirty water, you know? You know, you just boil it, you boil water, you pour the powder in there, and that's your coffee. So I gotta have some notes here so I remember everything, but yeah, I only was gonna go out to Saline Valley for a few days. Check it out, just to get the hell out of here, right? And uh, I've never been out there in October, so I didn't know what to expect. So just wing it, right? Let's go. So that's what I did. I figured I'll be back by Wednesday. So I left uh, Saturday afternoon I figured I'd get there in the evening. My first stop was uh, Eureka Sand Dunes. <laughs> so, I got to Eureka Sand Dunes in the dark, which isn't too bad. It's a, it's a graded road all the way to the dunes. It's on the GPS, there's signage. Um, once you get to the dunes, there's markers. There's a couple camp areas, which is basically just picnic tables in the middle of nowhere I mean, you got a pile of sand there I mean big sand dunes and there's like an outhouse and that's about it so I've been there before but never in the dark I couldn't see the sand dunes I knew it was there because I could see the sign where to park there are a few other campers there and they already had those spots so there was another spot a little further down that I've camped at before there's some in the background there's like these striped rocks it's like perfect it's away from the main camp area which is very small and it's flat and try to find it in the dark i drove up i drove back you can see the lights from a couple other campers but it was just pitch black out there got all the lights on that doesn't help it just shows you the road <laughs> a winding road right so so I drove up and back and all the way all the way back to the end again and I found a flat spot and I parked there and somehow I ended up just what I was looking for in the morning. There's a striped rocks right behind me. So uneventful. I took my time getting out there. That's why I knew I was gonna get out there at sunset. A little later than planned, but no big deal. I was no rush to go anywhere, right? So for my house. Here in the San Gabriel Valley, I filled up the shell. And it took me a full tank to get all the way to Big Pine, to the shell station there on 395 in Big Pine. Took me uh, 18 gallons. <laughs> Barely made it, it's a 20 gallon tank. So I figured the math on that, but I wanted to check on the fuel coming back home. And uh, did the same thing. I filled up there at the Big Pine shell and came home and stopped at the shell station here last night. And, 17 gallons so I'm averaging about 14 and a half miles per gallon and I'm thinking maybe because I didn't air up the tires as much as I did last time I checked it last time I went which is, was in May and I I put 40 psi in the tires all the way around this time I was only at 35 so maybe that's a why I average you know 14 14 5 to 15 gallons miles per gallon so just something to think about um, I also wasn't loaded up as much as I usually do because I only went for a couple of days um, but, but the weather was so perfect yeah that's another story though. I'm trying to make this quick <laughs> um, from Eureka sand dunes I was gonna take steel pass uh, so I got to, uh, I think it's called Dec, Dec, Decteria or Dexeria or Dedeca Canyon. And there's a few steps you got to go up, like waterfalls, right? I think there's about four of them. So I got there and I checked it out and I walked it. And I've done it before. I did it in 2018 in this truck and I've done it in my Tacoma. But uh, that was in 2018. I went and walked it and I was like, this thing sure is rutted out. And it looks a lot rougher than it was in 2018. Um, and in fact, in 2018, I found uh, another 
couple that was driving through that wanted to drive through and we decided to go together this way we wouldn't go by ourselves right <laughs> which is safer to do so that worked out great but it was a lot smoother then this time it looked pretty rough I mean I could have done it but I didn't want to risk it because I didn't see anybody else go through or come out um, Sunday morning yeah I was kind of waiting for somebody else and talk to them see see what they thought and check it out and nobody in fact there at Eureka Dunes there was only a couple maybe three campers one way out there and a couple over there so I'm like well I parked it there for a while, had a couple cold ones because it was a beautiful morning out there at uh, Eureka Dunes and nobody came by. I'm like, well, I didn't want to risk it. I can't afford no breakdowns and be stuck up there waiting for somebody to come help me. So I took the long way all the way around back to Saline Valley. So that's a nice drive though. Like I said, I was in no hurry to go nowhere. So what else can I tell you? Uh, oh, so I was gonna be back by, I was gonna leave Tuesday, right? I was gonna come back home Tuesday, out in the Saline Valley, every, more, every day the weather was in the 80s, 82, 84. At night it got cold down to like 66. It's beautiful. I was like, oh man. I was running out of beer by Tuesday. I'm like, I didn't bring enough food. I didn't bring enough water. I'm like, man, I want to stay. So Wednesday, I decided, well, let's go back to Big Pine and restock, right? Got some beer, some more water, some food. Top off the tank again. And, uh, yeah, and I headed back to Saline Valley till till Friday. Yeah, till Friday. Give me a couple more days out there. But uh, just for your information, from Warm Springs out there in Saline Valley to Big Pine is about four hours round trip out and back. I had a I had a woman ask me about that while I was there at the springs because they were running out of supplies and they. I told them, well, it's about four hours, so you give yourself enough time to uh, drive out and come back before it gets dark. Yeah, so. Just a heads up, a reminder. It does take two hours out to Big Pine and then another two hours to come back. Okay, that's all I wanted to share with you for now. Maybe I'll, sh I'll post a couple pictures to go along with this or something. I got all kinds of video, I had three cameras, and but there's not a whole lot to do. <laughs> I did a lot of hiking. I hiked up, I hiked back, I hiked here, I hiked there, just to keep myself busy during the day. And then about three o'clock I'd settle in, have a few cold ones. I went and sat in, uh, in one of the pools, the wizard pool, yeah. Uh, that's when I was talking to that one lady about driving into town. She was pretty cool, yeah. That's another story though. Got a few stories. A few, uh, you always uh, run into some uh, interesting people. <laughs> yeah. 